Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Recipe Tuesday. This morning, I'm going to do a real nice dessert that I know a lot of you will like. Since lemon is highly favored by a lot of you subscribers, I have a nice dessert that I think you guys will like. It's creamy lemon squares. And to put it together, what you're going to need for the crust is it's very simple to start you're going to need four tablespoons a half a stick of unsalted butter i don't know if you could use salted or not i don't really think it would matter you would melt it and cool it and then you're going to need more for the pan then one and one half cups about 24 square, squares of graham cracker crumbs. A quarter cup of sugar. All right, that's for making the crust. For the filling, you're going to need two large eggs, one can, 14 ounces of condensed milk, a half a cup of fresh lemon juice, and the person who made this recipe used about three lemons. Now, what you're going to do in order to put this recipe together is you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Brush an eight inch square baking dish with melted butter, line bottom with parchment paper, leaving a two inch overhang on two sides in a food processor, but I don't think you necessarily have to have a food processor, maybe something that can blend together. You might be able to get away with doing it in a blender. I really don't know. Finally grind the graham cracker squares, then add in sugar and butter and blend to mix. Press mixture into bottom and one inch up sides of prepared pan. Bake until lightly browned eight to 12 minutes cool crust about a half hour, 30 minutes. Now to make the filling, what you're gonna do is in a large bowl, whisk together egg yolks and condensed milk. Add lemon juice, whisk until smooth. Pour filling into cooled crust, carefully spread to edges. Bake until set about 15 minutes. Cool and pan on rack, then chill at least one hour before serving. Using parchment paper overhang lift out of pan and transfer to a cutting board. With a serrated knife cut into 16 squares, wiping knife with a damp kitchen towel between each cut. And it will make 16 squares enjoy. So that's really all it takes to go about making this particular recipe. Do you necessarily have to use lemons in this recipe? Probably not. There's probably other variations you could probably go with. If you wanted to, you could probably do orange, or you could do tangerine or mandarin orange. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. You could probably use your imagination and whatever flavor you think would be compatible, I think would probably work. I'm pretty sure anything that has to do with citrus would do just fine. Um, you could even go the lime route. I'm not so sure about grapefruit. Grapefruit might be a little bit too tart or too overkill. So I don't know if I would recommend using the grapefruit as a flavoring or not, unless you don't mind a tart tasting thing. I know I don't. I don't mind the tart. Um, so there you have it. This is, a, I think, a pretty good recipe since we're still in the summer and fall hasn't quite got here yet. Although, from what I understand, the weather in some areas has already started to change. Down here where I'm at in Florida, 
I won't see the weather change until the latter part of October, um, closer to my birthday. So this would be a nice recipe that all of you could um, put together. If you want to go a different route, use a different citrus, like I mentioned. You might even be able to go a completely different thing altogether. You might be able to do something with a pie filling. That could possibly work. I don't know. I've never tried this recipe. Although, to be honest with you, I myself would be willing to go ahead and give this recipe a try because it does have my curiosity. So anyways, um, everybody, I want to thank all of you this morning for tuning in to my Recipe Tuesday segment. And I will see all of you back here on Thursday. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your Thursday. And I hope you have a great day. Although, I have one quick question I would like to ask you guys. And please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Are all of you okay with Recipe Tuesday coming on at 6 a.m.? Would you rather me move the time up a little bit? Is there a specified time that you would like for me to put Recipe Tuesday on rather than 6 a.m.? If you have a, a thought about that, please let me know down below. Or if you're okay with the way I have it, let me know that as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.